morning, welcome back to the channel. We're just out doing an easy hour to start the day. I've got my ultra marathon this weekend, so it's a 50k ultra, so just a nice little move of the legs ahead of that. Um, thought I'd film a, what I eat in the day today. It'll be a pretty normal day, but also thinking ahead of obviously this weekend, making sure I'm nice and fueled up. So I'll take you on a food shop with me. I'll take you on my day with me and show you what I eat. So we'll get this one done. I've already had, I woke up starving this morning. I'm not eating eat very well yesterday. I didn't eat enough yesterday, so I woke up really hungry this morning. But I've had a mini saurine and a small bowl of cereal to start the day. And then I'll go back, have a normal breakfast when I get back. So see you when we get back. Right, so first meal of the day is always oats. <laughs> um, I have 50 to 60 grams of oats, um, a scoop of protein, a scoop of collagen, and a scoop of creatine. So I just use the Impact Whey. This is the Speculus flavour. Um, collagen, and then we've got creatine as well. So I just whack all of that into a bowl, mix it with water, microwave it. That's how I make my oats, nice and easy. Can't see, but I do tend to weigh out most of my food just to make sure, like I don't track my food, but I just, to make sure I'm getting enough going in, especially when it comes to protein, well, and carbs, well, food in general. So I do, yeah, I do waste about. Big scoop of creatine. Right, so oats are in the microwave. I'm going to add some peanut butter onto that and some strawberries I think we've got in. Um, usually I have jam on there, but we're out We're out of everything really. I'm going to do a food shop later on today, so I am going to show you what we normally buy. It, like Our food shops look very similar every single week. Our meals look very similar every single week. I have so far this morning, we ran just over 10k. Just a nice chatty run around with Gaz. And then we got back and then I took Hero straight out on his walk. So I'm... I've run, Hero's walked, we can get sorted and sat down for, for work. I like to just get that all ticked off nice and early. My mornings look very similar every single day. I try and walk oats every single day. It works for me. I love a routine and I think everyone should have a routine because it helps, especially if you are training for any big races. Routine is absolutely key. So yes, fueling up today and for the rest of the week really because for anyone who doesn't know, I am doing an ultra marathon this weekend, which is a 50k ultra. It's called a canalathon, 25k down a canal, 25k back. It starts in Yorkshire near like near Halifax, that sort of way, and then we run sort of Manchester way to for 25k, and then 25k back. Let's give this a stir. So yeah, where was I even up to? I can't remember. <laughs> So useless um so yeah 25k out 25k back nice and flat which will be nice and i think underfoot i think it's pretty like solid ground hopefully it's not too traily because i don't have trail shoes so i'll just be running in my normal running trainers um but it'll just be a nice little extra thing to do nutrition yesterday wasn't too great i woke up absolutely starving this morning um because i just didn't eat enough yesterday so i've already had a sorry i've had a bowl of cereal then we ran then i walked and now i'm gonna have this bowl of oats which I'll show you in a second. I felt really stressed yesterday so just my nutrition wasn't where I needed to be. I didn't eat enough so I need to make sure for the rest of this week I'm eating enough so I'm feeling fueled for the event on Sunday. Like that, that is the most important time when it's leading up into a race. A lot of people think like before an event we just have to think oh well you know I'll have a big bowl of pasta the night before and it doesn't work like that. You need to be thinking about your fueling for the week leading up to it um, because yeah you need to be constantly fueling and just gradually adding in a little bit more into each meal so that your body's able to digest it well so it doesn't sit too heavy on your stomach so you don't get an upset stomach if you just think I'm just gonna whack in a load of food the day before often that's gonna impact your digestion often that's gonna impact things like your sleep the night before so how I tend to do it is just in the days leading up to it make sure you know meals are pretty carb heavy and then sort of two days before like for example my oats rather than having 50 grams I'll have maybe 70 grams and rather than having 200 grams of rice and I have 250 so that that sort of thing and just making your meals that little bit bigger right oats are done I'm going to add strawberries on top and a little bit of peanut butter there's literally not barely any left in here but yeah I'll take you along for our food shop today and show you what we buy and you'll be amazed at how boring it is <laughs> lots of protein lots of carbs 
um, squares, bars, fruit, mm, cereal, lots of cereal, oats, and here we have it. Like I said before, um, I don't track my calories, but I would guess, what would I guess this to be at? 500, five, six, 500, just over 500 maybe. Um, I would guesstimate somewhere around there, but definitely with the scoop of protein, scoop of collagen and the peanut butter, it's gonna be near like 45-ish grams of protein. Easy. I've been in the hot seat directing those television cameras, and he actually says rugby can help tackle the football VAR issue. <laughs> Got peanut butter. Oh, for God's sake. Mm. This empty jar reminded me. Oh. So, I thought I would just talk you through a bit of a food shop. This is a very typical food shop for us. This will probably last us. Well, there's some bits in that obviously that will last us a lot longer, but our food shop, we probably do a food shop every four to five days. We both, between us, eat a lot of food. We go through a lot of chicken. We go through a lot of chicken sausages. We go through a lot of potatoes. That's probably the main thing we buy. Um, so, I'll talk you through a few things. Um, so, let me unpack it all first. Let me unpack it. Right, so I've just unpacked everything. Um, I don't know how best to show you. So basically, I'll go through everything, but we've got our carbs over here. We've got our proteins over here. We've just got our like miscellaneous items here. And then we've got the fresh stuff over here. So, I mean, we are, I wouldn't say boring, but we eat very similar foods every single week. We'll have chicken and potatoes or like air fried chips probably like two to three times a week we'll have steak once a week we'll have a bolognese pasta dish probably once a week and also like a tomato -y chicken sausage pasta once a week we'll probably eat out once a week and then lunchtime meals usually for me is like chicken wrap or chicken and microwave rice or chicken sausage microwave rice so very like basic i'm not one to spend hours cooking i don't have time to spend hours cooking um i don't think many people do i mean some people love cooking and, and are willing and want to spend time cooking and that's amazing and i love that but i personally i love eating good food but equally i need to eat for convenience just to get the food in um that's not saying it's bland but it just it needs to be convenient so we use our air fryer i can't remember the last time we used our oven really so we just whack everything in the air fryer um and hope for the best so fresh stuff um i'm gonna make like a tomato pasta dish in the weeks so i've got tomatoes for that we've got onions in the fridge peppers we go through peppers we eat peppers like every single day um mushrooms carrots i'm going to make a bolognese this week um, but we'll also use them for just like veg that we just chuck in the air fryer like when we when we make our sort of like chicken and potato dish <laughs> dish we literally whatever veg we've got in we'll just throw it all into the air fryer we'll air fry the chips and then when it's got like 15 20 minutes left we'll put the chicken and the veg on top whack it all in again air fry it 15 minutes sweet chili sauce it's amazing fruit wise again we sort of top these fresh things up maybe like every four days but this time i've got grapes i've got apples um i've got raspberries so sometimes we'll make like um yogurt bowls for dessert for example or like for on top of our oats but we've got already got greek yogurt in the fridge so i didn't actually buy that today didn't need it um so that's our fresh stuff for this week the carb section over here can you even see it anyway is the biggest section because of how much we train we just we just go through all the carbs we love it so mainly potatoes we both love potatoes they're really cost effective as well if you want to get um your carbs in and you don't want to spend a load of money on microwave rices uh, obviously pasta's cheap most carbs are cheap but anyway we find the best bang for your buck in terms of volume of food in terms of price potatoes so we have potatoes i would say three to four times a week that's no exaggeration um we both eat oats for breakfast every single day so i've got two oats there um cereal i'll sometimes snack on cereal or maybe if i'm going on like a run or a bike and i need something first i'll have cereal so i've got these ones this time we've also got brown flakes i sometimes eat this but also hank our dog eats these in his breakfast so that is for us both 
Um, in terms of like little snappy things, squares, bars, um, again, super easy to just have before a bike session, before a run. Um, they're not going to sit heavy on your stomach or just as a bit of a high carb snack. Uh, same with Soaring. So I have got Soaring, the chocolate orange one and just the plain one. Wrapped because we'll probably have fajitas one day this week or like for lunches. Super easy to put chicken and veg from the air fryer 10 minutes in a wrap. Sorted. Um, again, convenient. And then I've got two pastas because I'm going to make a bolognese. Monday this week and I'm going to make a chicken sausage tomato pasta dish which um, we've got cheese already in the fridge um, I've also got sweets as well super handy easy carbs and I just love sweets anyway and um, I've already got some chocolate upstairs so I didn't buy any more chocolate today and then the only jam we can ever buy is this jam I have it in my oats um, every day absolutely love it and then finally I just picked these up because I love them so that is the carbohydrate side of things and then proteins this week we've already got some chicken breast in but i just got another kilo pack of chicken breast um mints which we will i'll make into bolognese as i said and we'll probably have it for tea one night and then it might make like another one maybe two for lunch gaz has already got a steak in the fridge but i picked up another one because we'll probably have that tonight i think and then chicken sausages for the chicken sausage pasta miscellaneous item we both have um we both use unsweetened almond milk as uses it in his oats i have it on my cereal love that and then just some semi skin milk because i have that in my coffee squash because i drink that like nobody's business i can't remember the last time i drank well no i can obviously that's a real exaggeration laura i was gonna say i can't remember the last time i drank water on its own obviously i can but i drink my water with squash in just makes it easier we go through sweet chili sauce again like nobody's business because we just have it on most things i'm a real i'm really picky with sauces i don't really like sauces so that's the only one i like um seasonings garlic granules and just some random chip seasoning and then boring stuff these are just for um the bolognese uh, a few cleaning products but you don't need to see them and that is our food shop that i'm the fridge and then i've got a couple of calls and then i'll come back to you with what i'm gonna have for lunch um probably probably just a chicken wrap probably just a chicken wrap um and then maybe like some sorry and a dessert obviously finally we've got oh, the most important thing a 24 pack of pepsi mat right i'm going down to make my lunch um i've just finished my calls i'm absolutely starving i've eaten about three quarters of that bag of those what are they called i don't know um chip things i don't know anyway <laughs> um, the air fryer's on over there uh, i'm just gonna whack some chicken in there Chop some chicken uh, season it dump it in the air fryer and then all i'm gonna do is gonna microwave some broccoli and then put the chicken and the broccoli in a wrap uh, put some cheese on it and wrap it up and it's ready to go i love broccoli i will have broccoli with anything anything and everything if i can if i'm eating a meal and i'm like making it i'm at home i'm having broccoli with it if it's curry if it's um if it's like bolognese i'll have broccoli with it i will have broccoli with it broccoli's going in the microwave for two minutes you know what how many people I tell like you can microwave broccoli and so many people don't realize i remember like i taught my mum that she could microwave broccoli I don't know, I don't know why it's such like a revelation. So anyway, two minutes in the microwave, <laughs> depending on the power. Two minutes, two minutes ten, tends to be an optimal time. So that'll be done. Um, and then I'll put the chicken in the wrap, the broccoli in the wrap, cheese on top. What more, more could you want? Right, so the chicken is done. It's just in there. I'd probably guesstimate that that is around 200 grams of chicken, I would say um decent chunk of protein going in i swear i see a lot of people or yeah make the mistake when it comes to getting enough protein in is like they simply don't like have a big big enough chicken breast or you know they'll have two chicken sausages rather than maybe the four or five that they need in order to help them hit their protein target so if you're training a lot especially if you're a triathlete sometimes twice a day um to help your body recover it's so important that you get sufficient protein in 
and the easiest way instead of you know eating all these different like protein yogurts and protein shakes whilst they could be handy um, you don't want to solely rely on them so try and get most of your protein from your actual meals it's gonna be a lot more cost effective you're gonna get a lot more benefits in terms of like nutrients and things from you know things like chicken or eggs or meat or whatever and yeah so just increase the amount that you have so i'm gonna assemble my wrap <laughs> some table <just> assembling <laughs> Hero, my dog, is sat down here because he wants some cheese. We love cheese, and then we're gonna put sweet chili on it as well. Right, so it's been in there for about, what, three, three minutes, and yes. <laughs> so I've got an air fried chicken wrap for lunch. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Literally just a wrap, 200 grams of chicken, some broccoli in there, um, cheese, and some sweet chili sauce. Nice and simple, threw all the ingredients into a wrap, whacked it in the air fryer to crisp it up. I put it in the edges a little bit, but I don't mind that. Hi. Ah! Get some flowers. <laughs> Hi. Lunch done. I'm now going to a pulp and some grapes, and then I need to get on with some work because I'm so behind. So, um, yeah, apple, grapes, and probably a squares bar as well. And then I can just settle down for a solid few hours. Mm. What did you think of the chocolate orange ones? Yeah, it looked like. Mm. Uh-huh. Still at my desk, still working. Eating sweets now. <laughs> These guys. Oh. oh, I'm out of breath from coming up the stairs. But yeah, just snipe on these. I've got a bit more work to do. And then I need to take Hero on a walk. I'm having tea early tonight around six because we've got some webinars and things to do tonight. So tea a little bit earlier. So I'll probably have my tea, I'm thinking. And then after those calls at like half eight, having like a yogurt bowl or something. Which I'm excited for. Hello just finished my work well for now and um, we're gonna go walk here I've had a coffee it's like I had that at like half four probably shouldn't have had coffee then but we're working quite late tonight with some webinars so that's fine and I've had about four of these mm. so yeah I'm gonna walk here um, and then tea oh, I can't wait for tea Walk. Just going to walk. Give me a minute, Sarah. Right, before we go on our walk, I'm just going to chop the potatoes actually. So, what we do is between us, um, if we're having potatoes, we will. I'm going to chop about a kilo of potatoes. So, <laughs> we, every time we have potatoes, we go through a kilo of potatoes. So, guys, we'll have about 600 grams. I'll have about 400 or like 650, 350, something along those lines anyway. Air fried chips. Um, some veg of some sort, um, a steak each, which Gaz will cook. I'm not cooking that, and I'm gonna have broccoli, obviously. <laughs> yes, a war. Look at that. Bang on. <laughs> salt them a little bit. I have to salt them because she doesn't like it when I put too much salt on. So I have to put extra salt on when she's not looking. Shh. Got a head chef. I'm head chef. <laughs> Steaks have gone in. There they are. Um, Chips from the air. Oh, I need some of broccoli. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Chips are done. It's my job done. Are they mine? They're yours. Thank you. I need a knife. A knife. Steak me, please. Here he is. Hi. My personal chef. Literally, I'm. <laughs> 99% of the time. 
So this is tea. We're having steak tonight, like I said before. Gaz has cooked them to perfection, maybe. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah. Nice. That's what oh, we nice. like. So I've got approximately like 350 grams of potato. You've got a rump steak. I've got a rump steak. You've got a... Is that bad? I didn't. I just picked that one up. I don't yeah. know. Rump steak. Okay, I've got no, a rump I'm, steak. I've got Gaz has got a sirloin. Hero's got the fat bits. Look at him, fat good boy. You give him the fat. You do. I didn't. No, give him a little bit of steak. Yeah, I give, give him fat. I want the fat. Oh. <laughs> Gaz eats the fat of mine. The other day I threw it in the bin and you were fuming, weren't you? Well, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> oh, amazing. Thank you so much. You're Ta -da. So this is tea. Right, just to finish off the evening, I'm going to make a yogurt bowl, Greek yogurt, and put some raspberries in, um, half a scoop of protein powder, and some cereal, some peanut butter. I'm still really hungry after tea, so I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna grab my stuff one second. So, 150 grams of yogurt. Ooh, that's a good start, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, let's start again. Oh, Mix that in, mainly for just flavour to be honest. Some raspberries. Cereal. Maybe like 20 grams of cereal, maybe. Oh, fresh jar of peanut butter. This is like extra nutty or something. My evening snack, so yoghurt, protein powder, raspberries, cereal and peanut butter. So I'm just going to sign out from this vlog now while I finish eating this. I'll probably have a hot chocolate as well after this, but I'm going to edit this video now. So I'm going to sign off so I can start getting it edited. Generally, that's what I eat in a day. I've only tried once today. If I would have two sessions in a day, I'd probably a bit more, I'd probably have slightly bigger meals. I'd probably be snacking more because I'd be a lot hungrier, but um, I just had a run this morning. So I still like to fuel a lot on those days, even if it's not a double session day, because for the most part, I'll have a double session day either side of, of this day. So um, I do need to make sure I'm fueling all the time. And I love it, it's my favorite thing. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight into what I have. Fairly basic, nothing stand out, but it works for me. Nice food health goodness and a bit of what i fancy so that's generally it but i hope you've enjoyed let me know if you've got any questions let me comment below and i'll catch you in the next one mm. right i lied before well, i didn't lie before but i'm still so hungry um i don't know what's wrong with me i'm starving today i woke up feeling like sick with hunger i still feel like that so i'm gonna get some cereal <laughs> I have my cereal and some almond milk on it. That's my next course. Sometimes, like this is just this is just the life of when you do endurance sports. You just sometimes it's just this insatiable hunger. Some days I'm like I'm absolutely fine. Like I eat like a normal human. Some days I just can't stop. Oops, I just can't stop. So yeah, just all the cereal and um, some almond milk and then maybe my hot chocolate after that. We'll see.